Uh, Mayor Bowser, uh, yesterday uh, there was another death by suicide off of the Taft Bridge. Uh, DDOT uh, was in the process of assessing that bridge uh, after the previous suicide earlier or later last year. Uh, and they have now said that they plan to put a suicide barrier up there uh, on Taft Bridge and are looking at two other bridges, but they say it's dependent on funding. So my question to you about, about this is just funding. Will you find funding this year uh, for the suicide prevention barrier at Taft? Will this have to go to next year's budget? What, what can we expect as far as a timeline now, now that your administration is committed to doing it? I think it's more than that. I think it's planning to get it done um, and working with all of the agencies that are necessary to make uh, a change to a historic structure or a significant structure in the city. So I, I, I think it's bigger than uh, a staffing, uh, the, than a funding question. Um, but more largely, uh, Mark, it is, uh, we want people to know that all of the resources in our city um, where help is, where they can get help. And we want, we want to encourage people to reach out. Uh, we have a mental health hotline. Um, it's a new number, 911, not 911, 988, sorry, thank you. 988 um, that if you dial can connect you to um, mental health resources and we hope people will will do that statement they say that all the stakeholders both federal and local are on board with doing this but it is dependent on funding and and the funding would come from the city from you and the council so i'm just asking will, will you find the money if this I year just, let, me, let me just be clear if i directed the agency to do something I always fund it. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I wanted to go back to safe passage. What did you hear from the school leaders about its effectiveness and what do they identify as areas for improvement? Um, a couple of things I will say about it. Uh, in this is something that I experience with a lot of our programs is that not everybody knows about it. Um, so frequently I will take the opportunity just to explain what it is and uh, then some days following this, the chancellor and others are going to get questions like, how can I get involved and how can we get our school community uh, involved? I will tell you one thing that I uh, posited to the school leaders is if we should have more of our violence interrupters actually in the building. Um, like the very successful program that we have at Anacostia, which is the One's Leadership Academy. And uh, the questions that I think we all have to address around how do we get more people um, being able to participate in those programs because they have clearances and they have been properly trained and they have gained uh, the confidence of the principal. 